working on and it's part of the prerequisite of our blog to make a carousel so we are not coming to design this um, carousel by giving it this title this kind of dark color but we are coming to learn how to get this carousel effect that scroll from left to right with indicators below <coughs> so without further ado let's get into it first of all we open our php rat studio let me just show you where we ended last time we were able to make this so let's start making our carousel first of all we create uh, we create a new database view inside this database view i will name it blog blog <coughs> the reason why i'm creating a new database view is because we are going to do some messy work with it so i don't want to tamper with our article major table i just want to create a new database so that if anything go goes wrong i can still restore my my table so i want to pick article the reason why i pick um let me remove this the reason why i pick article is because that's actually where our carousel database or content is coming to pick its database from all right so good as you can notice the blog blog page is red in color the reason why it's red in color is because it doesn't have any primary key so we want to set the id as the primary key immediately we set it as the primary key the color changes to black all right so moving forward inside the blog blog we created we want to create a new page not duplicate but we are creating a new page this page we call it banner and yours might be checked just make sure it's unchecked here and make sure it's in the list it might be view or something but just put it in list okay and you add when you add it let's see how it looks like remember we are in our home page inside our home page we want to add this blog blog then the page of blog blog we want to add <coughs> the page of blog blog we want to add is the banner page so we create a new column here i mean we create a new column here and we drag and drop our block block inside that new column we want to make this column to be called 12 as in full width with zero padding p0 and we don't want to show the header we don't want to show the footer the pagination tool we want to make it false and we preview it <coughs> this is exactly what we got another thing we want to do is we want to change this thing from table view to grid view so we come to our we come to our banner page and we toggle from table list to grid we remove this um sm goddess to carousel carousel in a carousel in a then the column grid we make it called 12 with padding of zero then in a one here we can just remove put it to none um the labeling we don't want it to have any label we have to toggle the buttons we don't want to have the view button we don't have want to have the edit button or the delete button so another thing is the pagination we want to also toggle it off then we want to come over here and put all these things to none because we want to only have our images there put them to none so i'll just make this thing a bit faster so that we move on our image we set it to image not plain text by default is on plain text but we want to make it image then the headline um for now let's make it none the id let's make it none again on the image we want to set it to be longer than tall which is 1800 and 500 i'll make it 400 400 then we preview all right that is what we get and we are not surprised to get the two images coming up so we want to start having an effect on it um at this point we are going to go custom don't be offended that we are going custom we open our custom page and we go to edit um, i've made it bold so that you will see what we are doing um first of all we want to remove this row remember we typed um carousel in a so by the side of carousel in a there is a row they want to remove it 
then on top we have this id that says page report body we want to remove it and you can give it any name you want i will name mine front end the reason why i don't want to use this guy page report body is because of this there is a dash in between and this id will be used by a javascript once you are having a dash in between an id inside javascript is obviously that it won't work so that's why i just want to use something like front end as my id and i want to create a class and also i want to create a data right so you might be wondering oh my god this guy is coming to do more heavy coding no here we just want to add carousel and we want that carousel to be sliding so we say slide not sliding just say slide type slide the second one in the data is the data right we just put carousel you don't have to type plenty inside there and um, another thing is over here we have carousel inner we want to do something okay not over here well not here not here not here the carousel inner is okay i mean over here immediately after this counter plus plus this next div that you will see that has code 12p0 remember we typed it we want to say carousel carousel item i mean we are telling it that hey these are the items you are going to be scrolling so these are the carousel item and we want the number one of this item to be active we say p php if statement we say if counter if this counter if this counter if counter is equals to make sure that the equal sign is double if counter is equals to one we we want it to be active if it's one then we close our php environment all right having done that you can say ok and preview let's see as you can see the next picture is off so let's see if our our staff will actually move let's give it some time to see if it will be scrolling okay it's working at this point good so the next thing we want to do is um, let me show you the next thing we want to do is this um, this nest and prev um, controllers or indicators uh, to do that you are going to do it on top of this carousel inner so you collapse this carousel inner on top of it let me label it indicators indicators <coughs> on top of it we are going to have ol class don't worry just do as i do carousel um, indicators then inside this carousel indicators we want to have li that will have um, a data target target of front end and this front end is id okay so we can say v these are id we use this hash to represent to let it know that it's actually the id we are talking about okay so another thing we want to do is um we want to put it to be sliding okay when we click on it we want it to slide to the previous one or maybe to the next slide so what we do is um we say um, um data data target data slide to data slide to what to zero um javascript count from zero one two three unlike others that count from one two three javascript assumes zero as a number so we count from zero one two three so our first record is is zero instead of one in javascript we see it as the zero so we slide zero indicator so the next one is um class we want the this number number zero one to be the active one okay then at this point we are done we just copy this thing copy paste it and paste it here we remove this active because this is no more the number zero this is going to be the second one which is one 
and when we preview it to see what we get we are getting it below let's see if it's working you see when you click on it it's actually working the way we want it to work okay moving forward to the previous and the next icon that will be doing some function okay you just look at the carousel in there again and we are going to close it you know collapse it by clicking here to collapse it so when you collapse it you are going to type below below this guy below this carousel inner remember you have to collapse it you see you have more content so when you collapse it all the content have been toggled to be smaller so below it that's where we want to put this thing this a class carousel carousel controller control brief then data target we can say href href will be this guy and our data target our data target or our data slide let's say data slide not data target our data slide will be next okay so let's put an icon inside i class icon um, preview no icon arrow 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 left we say area yeah, arrow left and we'll give it a pattern of two we give it border radius border make it to be bored and the border we want it to be rounded kind of rounded circle if you like it's not much that you will give this you can equally remove this okay you can equally remove it okay so the next thing is um, I haven't done that let's see how it's going to look like okay I don't know if you are seeing the i the preview icon but i can see it when we click on it it's, it's actually moved to the previous one so we want to do the same thing here um it seems like we we can't see it so let's make it bold so that everybody can see it so we copy this thing copy it and we'll paste it and we are going to change just a few things we make this preview to be next href to be the same but um data slide will be next uh arrow left instead of making it arrow left we make it arrow right this guy we made next is wrong it should be preview okay it should be preview which is brief at this point I will tell you that we are done okay we have it here and also we have it here we have it here and we have it here preview it in a bigger browser oh my god I have to log in front end zero one okay Thank you guys for watching in our next tutorial we are going to look at how to design this banner how to design it to have this test to have this kind of overlay that makes it dark when you have overlay on it your indicators will be more visible and we can add this line and we can add this test obviously we have done this so and when we go to smaller screen you see the test has jumped from inside here down here so that's what we are coming to be doing in our next class thank you guys for your time thank you for being there for me i just want you guys to do me a favor subscribe if you can share this video please do share that is a means of paying me just share this video that we will get more subscribers it's kind of motivational way to support our channel thank you so much and i'll catch you in the next one